name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. I confess to our my God, God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do. To my fault, to my fault, to my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, O Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy and us. <clears throat> Forgive us our sins and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord, have mercy. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. First reading. Exodus 19 verses 1 to 2 and 9 to 11 and 16 to 20. In the third month after their departure from the land of Egypt. On its first day, the children of Israel came to the desert of Sinai. After the journey from Rephidim to the desert of Sinai, they pitched camp. While Israel was encamped here in front of the mountain, the Lord told Moses, I am coming to you in a dense cloud, so that when the people hear me speaking with you, they may always have faith in you also. When Moses, then, had reported to the Lord the response of the people, the Lord added, Go to the people, and have them sanctify themselves today and tomorrow. Make them wash their garments and be ready for the third day. For on the third day the Lord will come down on Mount Sinai, before the eyes of all the people. On the morning of the third day, there were peals of thunder and lightning, and a heavy cloud over the mountain, and a very loud trumpet blast, so that all the people in the camp trembled. But Moses led the people out of the camp to meet God, and they stationed themselves at the foot of the mountain. Mount Sinai was all wrapped in smoke. For the Lord came down upon it in fire. The smoke rose from it as though from a furnace. And the whole mountain trembled violently. The trumpet blast grew louder and louder, while Moses was speaking. And God answering him with thunder. When the Lord came down to the top of Mount Sinai, he summoned Moses to the top of the mountain. The Word of God Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name. Praiseworthy and exalted above all for all ages. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory. Praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths. From your throne upon the cherubim. Praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you in the firmament of heaven. Praiseworthy and glorious forever. Glory and praise forever. Alleluia, Alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
Reading from the Holy Gospel According to Matthew Glory to you, O Lord! The disciples approached Jesus and said, Why do you speak to the crowd in parables? He said to them in reply, Because knowledge of the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven has been granted to you, but to them it has not been granted. To anyone who has, more will be given and he will grow rich. From anyone who has not, even what he has will be taken away. This is why I speak to them in parables, because they look but do not see and hear but do not listen or understand. Isaiah's prophecy is fulfilled in them, which says, You shall indeed hear but not understand. You shall indeed look but never see. Gross is the heart of this people. They will hardly hear with their ears. They have closed their eyes. Lest they see with their eyes. And hear with their ears. And understand with their hearts and be converted. And I heal them. But blessed are your eyes, because they see. And your ears, because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people. Long to see what you see but did not see it. And to hear what you hear but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you Lord Jesus Christ. Almighty God, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your blessings. Help us to live in your love this day, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God of our earth. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <coughs> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name. May then salvation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest, who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice, and was the first to offer himself as a saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial, as we his flesh that was sacrificed for us were made strong, and as we drink his blood that was poured out for us were washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing to him of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son of the Highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son of the Highest. The quote today from St. Ignatius of Antioch. He was ordained by St. Peter, a disciple of John, and an 80 year old in the year 110. He was sentenced to death, and on his way he wrote to the churches, the seven churches. This is what he wrote about the Eucharist. I desire to eat the bread of God, the heavenly bread, the bread of life, which is the flesh of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And I desire to drink of God, namely his blood, which is incorruptible love and eternal life. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sitting down in the spirit of the like do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
He took bread and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. My Lord and my God. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. My Lord and my God. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. For by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church bread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Louis our Bishop, and all your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the face of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Mindful of the coronavirus, let's offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Peace to us. Peace to us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not very worthy that you should live unto my word, but I'm going to say a word and my soul shall be you. May the body and blood of Christ be your Savior and eternal. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, with the and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Go and make disciples. Thanks be to God.